Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of review mail. Nothing too serious just because I completely like stopped this week with Thomason or Brandbacker or anything like that because I totally overdid it the other week. So I haven't gotten anything to review from those sites but I do have a few things from Content Boulevard, a few just random things that I got in the mail and then some like extra sponsored items that I wanted to share with you guys as well. They're not sponsored in this video but they will be in a sponsored video. And then I have an awesome Alta haul I want to share with you guys and I hope I said that right Alta haul we got one I have not done an Alta haul in so long I cannot tell you how good this feels I've worked my butt off to be able to do this and to do the giveaway that was up last Sunday for you guys so I am really really excited so let's just hop into this so I can show you guys all the awesome shit that I got in the mail All right, let's start off with something that's edible because that makes me happy. Now, this is from Dana's Bakery, which, first off, it's my husband's name, so that's really cool, and it comes in this like, insulated bag, and this was from Content Boulevard, and I was really excited about this because what is in this bag is something that I have personally never tried before. Now, you open this up, and it is in, like, an insulated bag, so I thought that was really, really cool. And what these are are Dana's Bakery's The Original American Macaron. Now, I want to say it's macaron, not macaroon. I know that people kind of debate that a lot, but I think that the macaroons are the coconut things that would probably kill me. So these are the macarons, and they are so beautiful. And yes, there's one missing. It was good. Now you get this little bag with it, and inside, let's look in here and see what is in here. The first thing that's in here is this little I love and then there's a macaron on it and it's a little pin. I think that is so cute. And then they give you a little like thin, I think these are the mint ones, I'm not sure, maybe a chocolate mint, but this is a temporary tattoo. Like, <laughs> oh, that might just go right here by my heart. And then they give you like a little sample thingy here that is the adult juice box. It comes with mimosa, margarita, and strawberry daiquiri macarons. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. And then they give you a little bit of like a what is in your box type of thing. I don't have all of these in my box. I don't think so. But I do have most of them. And there's a peanut butter and jelly one. Um, I ate the s'mores one. That's the one I ate. And it was so damn delicious. I mean, I've never had anything like this in my life. For me, the s'mores one at least tasted like two brownies, really soft brownies with a cream in the middle that I've, I've never tasted a cream like that before. So I was like, oh, like I cannot wait to get done filming this so I can just stuff my mouth with all of them. Like I just want to eat all of them. So, of course, there's more like strawberry shortcake, red velvet, birthday cake, key lime pie, cookie dough, champagne celebration. I mean, there are so, so many. So, me and my husband and my kids are going to be like devouring this tonight. But I love how they ship nationwide, you guys. They ship completely nationwide. They ship so fast. It comes in an insulated container with like a gel ice pack so your stuff stays fresh. They do parties. Like I saw on their Instagram, they have done It Cosmetics parties before. And I mean, they are very very well known these are delicious they're very sanitary they're very quick so if you're ever in the market go to Dana's Bakery they even have like little mini stores in Bloomingdale's and I mean they are an amazing um, amazing they're amazing bakery and I just can't wait to eat this whole thing whole thing gone and the next thing is from It Cosmetics, and they sent me a little PR package for Mother's Day, which I was so grateful for. The first thing is the Fall in Love with Brushes set. Now, this is a $92 value, and it is $39.50, and you can get this at Ulta, and it comes with three full-size brushes and the Luxe Heart-Shaped Brush Case. So let's open this bad boy up. I think this is so adorable. I love It Cosmetics brushes. They are like the softest brushes ever. It looks like this, which is so cool, and you open it up. And bam, there's a heart. I get way too excited about these things. But I have opened them, and I am going to be keeping these two brushes. It's more like a powder brush and then an eyeshadow brush, and they are so soft. So soft. And I'm going to be giving this one away to you guys, which you have already seen in the giveaway. That is a foundation brush. But I think this is so adorable, you guys. It is such a good deal for their brushes because their brushes can be insanely priced, but for good reason because they are so soft and work so well. So I'm excited to get my hands on a couple more It Cosmetic brushes because I love them. 
And the next two things that they gave me was the Vitality Lip Flush in Je Ne Sais Quoi, which I already have this and I'm already almost out of it. Like I only have a little tiny bit left because I used the crap out of this. So I am so excited they sent me another one and <sighs> backups of this needed. And the last thing is something that also went into the giveaway and this is the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip Blush Hydrating Lip Gloss Soft Stain. Now I, this is another one that's like in the Je Ne Sais Quoi. It's like, it says it's soft, je ne sais quoi. I can't, I can't speak French. I'm French descendant, but I can't speak it. So you guys, someone will be winning it. But that is the color right there that it will be. And I just think this is going to be a love for anybody who loves lip glosses. Now the next thing that I got is something that you guys will be seeing in a sponsored video. And this is from Luxie Charms. And this is their Luxie box. I don't want to open it just yet because you guys will be seeing this this week all about this because I want to actually unbox it with you guys so this is an awesome kind of like jewelry subscription box only it's not like any subscription box that is normally out there so I'm really excited to share this with you guys all right and the next thing is something that I just got random and I'm not even sure where this came from and this is from Mutter and it's their three-in-one photo lens for your iPhone and it comes with the fisheye lens the macro lens which is so you can get really close up to things and then in wide angle and you just like screw it onto this little clip and clip it onto your cameras your phone's camera and you have lenses to take pictures with so I thought that was really cool the next thing is something else you'll be seeing a sponsored video on. I'm going to be doing it in a get ready with me and I cannot wait. And this is from ISO, I believe. ISO. I'm going to have to probably ask them how to pronounce it as usual. But this is a BB cream. It's $50. So I am expecting a lot out of this BB cream. But it is, I believe, um, from overseas in the China area. So I am very excited to try it out because they have a lot of awesome skincare and makeup. And they always come out with like really new awesome things. This BB cream has a lot of claims to it and I did squeeze a little bit of it out on my hand and what I got on my hand was amazing coverage so I am very excited to be trying this out for you guys. Alright and the last thing that I got in review mail and that was from Ite. I believe it's Ite. I've worked with them before. I absolutely love them. I'm just not good at saying companies names. But I believe that it is Ite, um, and this is their Shine Bright and Sparkle box. It comes with four of their mineral glitters, and then their glitter sealer bond, and a brush. And I'm going to be using this in a Get Ready With Me as well, but it looks like this. And it comes with a bunch of glitters, the sealer glitter right here, and then a brush to apply it. And I cannot wait because of the colors in here. I have the gold one, which is included. I have this one, but this one is in red flare, and I don't have that one yet, and that's gorgeous. And then there is black diamond, which, yes, please. And then there is shine, which is like... A beautiful it's white but it has a bunch of like pink and green and different kind of reflex in it so I'm so excited to make a look with these I, I love glitters and you can use these on your lips on your body anywhere so you guys will be seeing more from this all right now let's get into what I got from Ulta I made a huge purchase at Ulta half of it was for you guys and some of it was for me so the first thing that I got was another Clinique Stay Matte Foundation. I absolutely love this and I haven't had it in a little while. This is the first Clinique um, foundation that I ever got and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I got the other one, the Clinique 2-in-1 Perfecting Foundation and I just never repurchased this. So I definitely had to repurchase another one. This is amazing for oily skin people. Amazing. So I get mine in Alabaster which is almost the like lightest shade you can get. It matches very well but I do like to mix this with other foundations as well so I was really excited to welcome it back to the family. I did pick up some eyelashes and I got two pairs of the Ardell Studio Effects and Demi Wispies so it's just the Demi Wispies only they are kind of stacked with individual eyelashes as well. I'm wearing one of them today and then that's what they look like you know not on your eyes. And then I also just got the Ardell Wispies and these are the Demi Wispies but when I ordered them, I ordered the ones that were like the stackables or something like that. So these kind of look like just the normal ones. I'm not really sure, but I'll definitely be trying them out and seeing. Either way, I love the Demi Wispies, so I'm good. I picked up another foundation drugstore this time, and this is from L'Oreal, and this is the Infallible Pro Matte. I've been wanting this since it came out, but I really just 
could not justify the price of it for drugstore but I heard so many good reviews so I decided I had to get it and I am wearing it today I actually put on a lot of the stuff that I am hauling I've used today so I have a first impression feeling on it but I really just don't want to talk about it too much in detail until my I hauled it so these will all definitely be in my I hauled it and I'm very excited about that the next thing that I got was from makeup revolution and this is because so many bigger youtubers were talking about this I was seeing it on their snapchats they were doing swatches of it and I was instantly like I have to have that and this is the makeup revolution shimmer brick radiant and I think this is the only one that there is but it looks like this and oh my goodness you guys one swipe of this and you can do it individually but it all together is very beautiful as well we will go into detail in this with this um in an i hauled it so i really don't want to swatch anything or you know show too much in, in detail of anything but i'm telling you guys this is just freaking gorgeous it's just gorgeous the next one I got was a nail polish and this is from the new Alice in the Wonderland kind of collection from OPI and this is called Oh My Majesty and it's like a white pearl. It's got a little bit of a, a twist on it when you move it. It is very pearlescent and it has a little bit of a different tone other than white when you move it. So it's very, very pretty and I'm just, I'm excited to try this out. This It's not what's on my nails right now. This is another OPI like textured polish in solitaire. So I can't wait to try this out. I think I might put it on tonight, but this was gorgeous. A lot of the Alice in Wonderland collection from OPI is really, really pretty. I did get some samples and this is just the Matrix Oil Wonders Volume Rose. I don't know, I love anything rose, so that was really exciting. And then there is the little sample of the Japanese Velvet Touch Primer, which I've actually been wanting to try out as well. So it's a nice little foil packet of it. So I will be trying that out and I'll let you guys know how that is as well. The next thing that I got was a mask and this is completely Sadie's Fault from Sadiekins21 and this is from Tony Moly and it is their Pureness 100 Pearl Mask. She is addicted to these and uh, not only her but I've seen a lot of people talking about the Tony Moly masks and I just I had to pick up one and then I picked up one for you guys as well and I really can't wait to try this. I'm probably going to try it tonight but so they're really affordable and people rave them up so I can't wait to try them out and see if they are worth the hype. I got a couple of concealers. The first one was just the Maybelline Better Skin because I'm not going without this and I'm almost out of the one that I have already. So this is just a repurchase on one that I already have and love. I highly recommend that. And the next one is also something that is pretty much a repurchase but it's been a long time since I've repurchased this. And this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles and I love this and I got it a long time ago when it first came out absolutely loved it it was the first concealer I ever used up and then I just went on to other concealers and never repurchased it so I'm like come back home baby come back home all right and then I ended up getting another liquid liner because I'm almost out of my elf precision eyeliner and I really wanted to try something else out so I did a lot of research and I didn't want to get anything high-end because I go through liquid eyeliner like nothing and I'm not spending that much money with something that I go through so quickly I would go broke so this is the L'Oreal linear intense I believe but it says it is a brush tip and it's very very thin and it has really good reviews so I'm excited to try this out and we will see because I still have not found anything that matches the elf precision eyeliner but this looks like it might be a good contender and L'Oreal has some amazing products all right, and the last two things were something that I was so excited about getting, and they were splurges. So sometimes you have to treat yourself, and that's what I have done here. So the first thing is the Bare Minerals, and this is their new Invisible Light Translucent Duo. Now, when I saw this, I instantly put it in my cart, and it sat in there until I had the money to buy it. I knew I wanted this right from the start and I had no problem buying it at all. I was so excited. Now I did use it today. It has a little bit of fingerprints all over it but it comes in a very nice classy black casing and you open it up and it comes with a really nice big mirror take the cover off and then it looks like this now I'm not sure you're gonna even be able to see exactly what this looks like because it's white but the one here is called glow and this is the one that is more like a highlighter and it looks exactly like the um Oh, what are they called? The Hourglass Ambient Lights. That's exactly what this looks like, and I have to be honest, so far, it's exactly how it performs as well. And then there is the matte version, which is an amazing setting powder, they say. So I'm going to be trying this out for a little while. 
do an I, ha I hauled it on it and I cannot wait because I was so excited about this. So completely excited about this. So let me know if any of you guys are planning on picking this up because I know I was, I was over the moon about this product. And the last thing that I got that I was like squealing about, ooh, yay! I finally got my hands on the Chicathon palette. Now, who is surprised by this? Is anybody surprised by this? I mean, it's a blush palette. It's, it's made for me. I know it is. So it shows what's inside on the back. It comes with five blushes, or you should say like four, and then a bronzer because it also comes with the Hoola bronzer. I've been wanting not only the Benefit blushes, but I've also been wanting the Hoola bronzer for so long. So this, I don't have any of the full sizes of any of these. So this was such a good deal. I could not pass it up because one, they're all full sizes. It comes with a nice mirror and then it comes with like a little booklet to tell you how to do everything that's in here. And then it comes with a little plastic name thing, but it comes with full sizes of each and one of the box blushes is what like 30 bucks almost and this was only $58 so you're getting the best deal you can get if you want any of these so I had to pick it up it comes with the Rocketeur Rocketeur Rocketeer I don't know but that blush the Coralista Dallas Dandelion and then the Hula bronzer and it comes with a brush of course so this was right up my alley blush yep yep so I did use it today. I used Coralista and I used this one here a little bit on top of it because this has some serious shimmer or glitter in it. And then I did use the Hoola bronzer as well. So we are definitely going to be talking about this bad boy and I hauled it. But I can just tell you right away how excited I am to have this. This is definitely a splurge for me. Something that wasn't needed but I wanted it so bad. So this just made my whole month. So that is everything that I got in the mail, um, upcoming video hints, sponsored video hints, and then things that I got at Ulta. I am so excited. I haven't shopped in so long, you guys. It is really far, like few and far between when I do haul videos, just because I get a lot of stuff in the mail for free, and I can't justify purchasing a lot of things, but I did work so hard the last two weeks with working with a lot of companies, making a lot of videos for them, just working my butt off, so I decided to splurge a little bit for me and for you guys. If you haven't seen the giveaway video I have going on, I will leave that down below for you guys. You have a chance to win the new Urban Decay Alice Through the Looking Glass palette along with a bunch of other awesome things. So I will leave that down below if you guys have not seen it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. Leave me a comment and let me know if you guys have any of these things, if you're planning on getting any of them, or if you do have them, what you think about them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!